All right, welcome back to SA Live. Mm. Oh my gosh, this smells amazing. And season 19 finalist of Hell's Kitchen, Chef Mary Lou Davis joins us again for a special recipe. What are we yeah, making? Absolutely. Okay, we're gonna make a dirty fried rice. So we're gonna make dirty rice, but we're gonna make it in the Japanese style of fried rice. So you have your andouille sausage going, and now she's gonna throw in our Cajun Trinity. So what makes it dirty? The dirty part of the fried rice is you're gonna use um, some ground meat as well as the chicken livers. And then you let that kind of sit a bit until the bottom gets kind of crunchy and you want to push off. That's what gives you the dirt. That's chicken, why she's got that spoon. Chicken I livers in fried rice. Oh yeah. That's what gets you the dirty rice. Yeah, really? that charred part, that's the, that's the oh, yum yum yeah, right there. The yes. Yeah, don't be afraid <laughs> of that. <laughs> all right, so you were on season 19 of Hell's Kitchen and made it all the way almost to the very end, I got right? to put my hand on the door. Did it open? <laughs> no, but it's fine. Do I have a fear of doors right now? A little bit, but it's fine. I'm like, automatic doors, please. I don't want any guesswork. Okay. okay. You can throw that one in there. Overall, would you do it again? Absolutely. For the, after it was over, I was like, I'll never do this again. But then after a couple of days, I'm like, I'd come back. Yeah. I can do this. Yeah, I would definitely do it again. But it's just like, if I go back, then I have to win. Because it's like, you always want to do better. And the only way to do better is to win. So, and, do you so, think that? Oh, go ahead. Okay. I'm sorry. So is there any dish you haven't made that you want to? Oh, there's so many. That's the whole reason why I'm getting up and I'm moving over there to California. Because I really want to expand my resume. Right now I'm doing a lot of teaching and I want to do new techniques and work with different cultures and different flavors. That way when I come back to San Antonio, I have something I can really bring to the table besides my personality. So your, <laughs> your goal is to, to work at a Michelin star restaurant and to do it though, it's not just like, hey, I was on Hell's Kitchen, I've got this resume. Oh yeah, it You're doesn't work that there, way. You're tested there, right? Absolutely, you go in and then you have to do a tasting, you have to do a stage so they can see, can you work? Are you just a TV personality or can you actually do stuff? So I'm going in there, Proving myself, getting some knowledge down, and bringing it back. And you're not taking your recipe. They, it, it's almost like a, a, a cooking show where it's like, here's what you have, make something out of it, right? Absolutely. They want to see how you are on your feet. Wow. Mm -hmm. it's like anybody oh can practice gosh. a dish, but I'd it's like you're so here. So nervous. Okay. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Okay, a little bit of the soy sauce. A little sauce. bit. So just a little. bit Do you bit think of Hell's this? Kitchen kind of? Prepared, prepared you for me? that? Oh, absolutely. Because the whole time you're there, all you have to do is think on your feet. You have nobody else that you can blame for your failures beside yourself. Okay. Off camera, is Gordon Ramsay a different person than he is on camera? They only show you the mean parts of him. They don't show you the nice parts where he's like joking around. Like you've seen the rest of his TV shows where he dresses up like people. He's silly and he plays around a lot and he jokes. And he's like, come on, it's a joke, laugh. And you're like, okay, you make me nervous. All right, all right. how much of this? All of it. All of I'm it. I'm going to okay. turn you up a little more. Okay. Go, go, go. So the secret to making fried rice at home would be... If leftover you fried rice. I okay. mean, leftover rice. It has to be leftover. And you're using sushi rice for this, right? Yes. So How to come? make this one like our, our Japanese style fried rice, we're using sushi rice. And I like it because it's a lot more glutinous. And so the bottom gives me those crunchy bits, which I always associate within my dirty rice. Okay. And once you uh, head on out to uh, California in a couple of weeks, right? But you're going to be coming back to town. Oh, absolutely. My plan is to come back every couple of months, do another pop-up, work with a different restaurant, because my mom is my hairstylist, and I have to stay purple. <laughs> so. uh, a bit and of speaking of yes. pop-ups, you have one going on tonight, right? A little party. Going I away party? do. I have one going on at the Evil Olive tonight. It's going to be from 5 to 10. We're going to have food, including this dirty fried rice. We're going to have drinks, including the Hell's Angel. And then you're going to have myself. It's going to be a DJ. We're going to sing karaoke. It's a whole going away party. I want to bash. Okay. <laughs> going out in style. Yes. Is it sad leaving San Antonio, though? Oh, it's like a happy sad. Like, my mom and I are really close. And she's like, I'm, I'm happy that you're going to, like, experience life and have an adventure. But this is, like, my security blanket. And these are the people I know. San Antonio is the seventh largest city in America. There's always something to do. And I'm, I'm leaving it. Uh, well, we will miss you. And if you'd like more information so on Chef Mary Lou Davis, head over to SALive.com. And yeah, that's all of her cosplay outfits there and everything <laughs> like that. And uh, we provided a link or you can click on that uh, QR code right there on the corner of your screen. Best of luck to you, my dear. Thank you so much.